Mike. Welcome back to the shop. Well, I've received the uh, replacement parts in the mail today, so uh, we're ready to begin our rebuild of the single rail gearbox. Alright, so this is the point where we uh, take the wire off of the main gear train and remove that, and then we will install the uh, inputs, input shaft. Um, the other thing you got to do is uh, take the uh, bushing off from the, the um, idler gear shaft for the, the reverse idler gear. So uh, now it's oriented um, and ready. Once we remove the, the wire, we'll be ready to um, install the input shaft. While you're removing the wire, um, be sure not to uh, lift up on the shaft from the bottom. What we're trying to do is make sure that that split ring we put in earlier um, doesn't come out. So um, always lift from either grabbing the nose of the shaft and pulling up or um, <laughs> there goes a thrust washer. We can put that in. That's not a problem. We can put that in later. Um, but don't push up because uh, it'll disengage the uh, split ring that's buried inside of the gear train and you got to start all over again. Okay, we've got the wire off now. Um, what we'll end up doing now is putting on the last of the balk rings. Um, of course, uh, put a little bit of lube on the on the balk ring so that uh, it uh, doesn't run dry then we install that through the top of the shaft and insert there okay so that balk ring is now in now we're going to get the uh, input shaft of course we're going to again apply some lubrication and then we're going to install it from the top Don't push up on the shaft. Well, um, got to start again. Uh, my uh, one of my synchro uh, gears came apart, and uh, well, as they say, <laughs> it's always faster the second time. So we're gonna do a little bit of rework and show you what I'm doing. Um, hey, I'm gonna be honest. Stuff uh, stuff doesn't always go the way uh, you plan it to go. So let's have some fun with it. Now I. Uh, Take the gear shaft. Um, this time, I'm uh, since I'm installing it in a vertical direction, I'm not going to put the wiring on. Um, that was helpful while I was doing the original install, but it's uh, not needed anymore. So I'm just going to slide the gear train in in a vertical direction, get past the reverse gear selector level lever. I know it's possible to get it in there. I got it out, so. There it goes. Okay, get out my hands so I'm not pinching my fingers. There it goes. Ah, okay, good. 
So I was able to get that back in. My dummy shaft is still in place, thank goodness. All right, now, um, now to put the input shaft back in. Okay, we got my, I'm checking to make sure I've got all of my parts in place here. It's still greased, so I'm just going to slide it in. So I don't drop this. I'm going to put the bulk ring in first. Line that up. And then the gear. And install it on the pilot. Alright, now is when I start pushing the lay shaft back the leg gear train back into the gearbox leg gear is in the bottom pilots in Plan B. Okay, so here's the rework. Um, I've uh, dropped the lay gear back to the bottom of the um, gearbox. Um, the uh, idler, reverse idler gear is still in place. That doesn't need to be removed. Um, I'm going to, I've installed the thrust, the front thrust bearing um, in the um, for the lay shaft and the lay gear in place, I'm going to drop the um, lay shaft in there to hold that um, that thrust washer in place, so that it doesn't move around. It's impossible to get to once everything is uh, installed, so that's got to be in place. Otherwise, we have to. Uh, pull the bearings again and I don't really want to do that so um, and I don't think I don't think you'll want to you'd want to do that either so uh, getting that in place lining that up uh, okay that's in place now I'm going to um, press the uh, the bearing in um, I'll be able to do that by um, pressing on the input shaft. Um, let me back this up so you can see it. So I'm going to uh, simply just um, push this in. We've got clips and everything in place to to allow for that force to be transferred from the input shaft in and uh, it'll, it should go right in place. So um, I'm going to do it real slowly. up and then press okay it's going in Okay, now uh, to get the uh, lay shaft in place, uh, the gear train should be okay. It, that, that won't uh, move around anymore. That's all captured in place. So now it's making sure that uh, all of the gears are, um, uh, the, 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 the lay shaft gears are uh, all in place with the, um, um, with the thrust washers. So uh, I'm going to line that up. I'm going to transfer this to the bench and, uh, and then uh, put that lay shaft back in.